Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. In this video, we're gonna be going over a simplified version of John Lennon's Working Class Hero. Really great song, only uses three chords. Let's get into it. So this song only uses three chords for the entire thing. The majority of the song is on what we call the A minor chord. We also have a G chord that pops in every once in a while. And even less than that, we have a D major chord that pops in every once in a while. So make sure to jump on over to my website where you can grab the chord chart for this song. I will put a link in the description below this video. Also just want to make a quick mention if you're digging the new Lauren Bateman t-shirts, I now have t-shirts up on my website. You can go to laurenbateman.com backslash t-shirts if you want to go grab one and support the channel. But let's get into the song. So this song is really just verse after verse after verse after verse. So once we go through one verse, you pretty much know the entire song. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break this tutorial up into three different sections. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the most simplified version. I'm going to show you how to spice that up even more. And then towards the very end of the lesson, I'm going to show you how to throw in some embellishments like hammer ons to really make it sound like the song. So let's talk about the timing and rhythm for this song first. This song is going to be played in three, four time. So we're going to be counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, over and over again. So it's going to have a swing. It's like a waltz feel. And the strumming pattern that we're going to use throughout is going to be one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So, like I said, the majority of the song is on A minor. So let me play that strumming pattern for you so that you can hear what it sounds like. So here's what our strumming pattern is going to sound like. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, and three, and 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 So that's our strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up. Super simple. You're going to use that for the entirety of the song nothing changes. So let's go and talk about the chord progression that we're going to use for these verses. So like I said, the majority of this song is on A minor, which makes this a great song for practicing getting in and out of A minor to a G chord or even a D chord. So the verse is basically A minor twice, followed by a G chord once. And then we have one, two, three, four A minors after that. All right, and then it repeats that one, two, three, four, four times. And then on the fifth time through, we do A minor, G, D, and then you do A minor four times. So this is what most of the song is going to sound like. So it's going to be A minor, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and G, two, and three, and A. And then we repeat again. So we got A minor, A minor to G, back to A minor. Two and three and one, two and three and one, two and three and. And the very, very last one where we get the G chord, it's gonna sound like this. Um, so we're gonna have one, two, three, one, two, three, a working class hero is something to be. So you hear that? So it's one, two, and three, and G, two, and three, and D, two, and three, A minor, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. So that is the essential chord progression. So you get to hang out on this A minor chord for a very long time, which makes this an amazing song for beginners, particularly if this is your first time working through three, four time rhythm. So that's all you have to worry about if you are an absolute beginner, but if you want to spice it up a little bit, I'm going to show you in this next section of the tutorial how we can add bass notes to the strumming pattern to make it sound a little bit more like the actual song. So let's talk about that next. 
Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this lesson so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way YouTube will show you more of my lessons just like this. So all we're going to do, so we're, the chord progression is going to be the same. The rhythm is actually going to say the same too. So we're still going to have one, two, and three, and 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 what we're going to do on that one is we're going to play a bass note. So it's going to be the bass note of the A minor chord. So it's going to be the fifth string, okay? The fifth string, down, up, down, up. And then we're going to switch to the fourth string. So the D string, down, up, down, up. So it'll sound like this. So you hear that alternating bass? So that, if you listen to the song, you're going to hear that in the song. So it's... So that's the first spice you can add to the song. So all we're doing, like I said, is playing the bass note on the one beat. One, down, up, down, up, and then switching to the fourth string bass, down, up, down, up. So we're alternating between five, the fifth string and the fourth string for the bass line. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... All right. And if you don't know these strings very well, um, in my guitar course, I do have an exercise, a couple exercises we go over to learn the distances between the strings. But if you need to watch the strings, that's okay. Watch your right hand so that you can do that alternating bass line. So that is the alternating bass line. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to learn how to play the song how it's played by John with all these cool little hammer-ons added in. So let's talk about that next. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions for me about guitar, leave a comment below and maybe I'll make a video for your question. So the third and final thing we're going to talk about for this very, very simple John Lennon song is we're going to take that alternating bass pattern that I just showed you, the four, or sorry, the fifth string to the fourth string, the fifth string to the fourth string, and we're going to build this. This is all going to be off of the A minor chord. And what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of a close up here so you can see what I'm doing with my fretting hand, but I'll also, at, at the end of this, I'll go in for a super zoomed in close up so that you guys can see what I'm doing. But we're taking that alternating bass line, again on the A minor chord, and what we're doing, we're playing the first time through, we're playing just the bass note, down, up, down, up. And then the second time through, we're going to lift the second finger on the A minor chord. So this D note, or this D string is gonna be exposed. And we are going to hammer with our second finger onto the second fret of that D string. So it's gonna be And the timing of that hammer is one and. So we have one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and. It's a great way to practice hammer-ons if you've never played them before. Now, hammer-ons, they're more about speed than the actual strength. There is a strength component, but it's like snapping a finger. If you do it too slow, it's not going to happen. But if you snap your finger fast, you'll get the sound. But if you go too slow, you're not going to get that snap. Same thing with the hammer on. So there's speed and timing involved. So it's going to be the bass note, which is going to be the fifth string. Down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up, bass. Down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up, bass. You hear that right so you'll hear that in the actual song where he's going bum and that's he doesn't do it 
all the time. He doesn't do it every time, but he does throw it in quite frequently. So you can kind of alternate between just doing the alternating baseline or throwing in this hammer on. I would recommend in going and listening to the original version so that you can hear the different variations and these different spices that he's throwing in because he's just sitting on an A minor chord. So how do we make an A minor chord interesting? We have to add in all these extra spices. So give those a try and let me know in a comment below if you found this helpful. Okay guys, so here's the close up for working class hero. You're going to see I have an A minor chord. My right hand is, or my picking hand is hitting that open A string, the fifth string. So it's bass, down, up, down, up. Lift, this finger is gonna be up, hit the D string. And there's the hammer. One and, one and, one and, two and, three and. So it's bass, two and, three and, one and, two and, three and, one and, two and, three and, one and, two and, three and. It's a little bit faster, it'll sound like this. fingers just going up and down on that A minor chord. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video. YouTube's gonna pop over a couple more videos over here. Go check those out, but also, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you see more videos like this, and don't forget to give me a like so that YouTube shows more of my videos to students just like you. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in another lesson video.